here in Belgrade, outside the Parliament building. I've been a guest of the Okovic family last night and today. And of course, overnight, the judges said the rules under which he got into Australia were the right ones. He was released from detention. Hooray, everybody thought. But the sting in the tail is that the Australian Immigration Minister has the right to overrule the court. So arbitrary power could be used over the rule of law and the threat of him being re-arrested. Now, it's evening time in Australia. I now don't think that's going to happen, but they've been bullying him, saying to him, look, leave him your own free will, because if we do re-arrest you, you'll be banned for three years. Really nasty tactics. And you know, these words should come back to him to haunt Scott Morrison. He said rules are rules. Yeah, and the judge said, Prime Minister, that the rules under which Novak got into Australia were the right ones. This is the first really big victory against the big state, which has grown so much over the course of the last two years since this pandemic began. I believe firmly in freedom of choice. And hey, he hasn't had the vaccine. That's up to a young, fit athlete like Djokovic. But of course, provided you've been tested, what's the problem? So look, this I think is a really big victory. Overnight, a big victory for freedom of choice, a big victory for common sense. I'm just crossing the fingers and hoping that it stays that way.